All right, today we're working on a 2016 uh, Hellcat. And uh, one of the first things you're gonna need to do is uh, remove these plastic covers from both sides of the engine. And they just lift up and unclip. And you can set them to the side so you can, you can get to the injectors. Take your oil cap off. Now we need to unhook the fuel line and also the fuel pressure sensor. You can see the connector for the fuel line right here. So that'll be, need to be uh, disconnected. And the fuel pressure sensor is actually down behind there. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the connector back there uh, with the light. You'll have to reach around behind um, uh, your intercooler hoses here to be able to unplug it so that the fuel line will move freely so you can get your sensor and your new line installed. All right, so your next step here is going to be unplugging all your fuel injectors. Sorry for the background noise. What you're going to have to do is, I think you'll be able to see this one on the camera here. There's a red clip here. That's the lock. These need to be, this one's already unlocked, so these need to be pulled back. They'll click back to unlock, and then you're going to squeeze them, this, to release, and they'll slide off. You can see that's that piece right there is what you need to squeeze in. So this red part locks it so it can't move. So you pull the red part back, squeeze in on the black part. And sometimes it helps on these and they're really stuck is to actually push in and that kind of breaks the seal and then pull back to get them back. Sometimes you're just trying to push and pull and they won't let go. Push in towards the injector at the same time and then pull back and they'll come right off. So you need to do that for the four on this side and then the four on the other just the same. All right, so on this side, I'm just gonna show you how to release um, the locks. So you can either get your fingernail in here and pull up. Sometimes that's a little hard, so you can use a little uh, screwdriver or like a hook or a pick and you can get it. Obviously they're, they're brittle plastic, so don't break them off, but you can get your tool behind this red piece and push up and they'll pop out just like that and that's released. So you have to do that to all of them before you can actually remove the plug. Okay, now that we have the lock released, you can go ahead, and it's gonna be hard to see with my hands in the way, but I'll grab this side just to keep the injector from rotating over here, and then I'm gonna push in on the release. Here, it's just below the red clip, push in. And like I said, you can push the injector towards the motor and then pull back, and they'll pop straight off. All right, now we're going to show you how to install your injection side of your harness on your Hellcat here. So we already have all the injectors unplugged. I'm just going to wrap this so it looks a little bit nicer. Everything is laid out by length. So we've already done this injector here. And obviously this next injector, 
this lines up pretty much exactly with that and so on and so on. So you really can't plug it into the wrong place. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold our injector connector out of the way and we're going to go ahead and plug our new harness onto the injector here. You'll feel it and hear it clip in. Then what you're going to do is you, you're going to route the wires real nice, but you're going to take the other end of your plug here, you'll plug it right into the factory plug and you hear that click, that means it's in good. Go ahead and lock that down like it was and you're going to tuck this down in there gently. You don't want to break. There is connections in here that you don't want to break. So you can tuck that down and those can all be zip tied real nice and tidy uh, when you're done. But for now, what you're going to want to do is do that to all eight of them and just get them there, you know, so they're not hanging out or getting burned. But just make sure they're all connected well um, before uh, you go ahead and start your vehicle. And you're going to want to do that once your fuel line is all hooked up and um, you get your harness all plugged in. Don't worry about tidying it up yet. The first thing you're going to want to do once it's all plugged in, start your car Make sure everything runs normally, no misfires. At that point, you can go ahead and tidy everything up. Uh, you know, you don't, you don't want to plug in your actual commander module until after you've tested this. And the reason for that is, is you want to eliminate any possibilities of error. So it's a lot easier to go back in if you need to without everything all zip tied and looking pretty if you have an issue with your install. This way, if you have a misfire, which is most common, if something's not installed correctly, you can get right to it and fix the problem.